Okay, so Taya, now we're going to try to find a neutral spine with, with core stability and basically work in a way that you find in your pelvis stability to go into a transition for a back bend. Because back bends is a strengthening pose. Okay, so basically you can say you can prepare for Ustrasana. So keep your body as your body would like to be in this position. Okay, I'm going to ask you to visualize again your ribs. So you're taking again your hands at the top of your ribs. You're breathing into your front ribs. And when you exhale, you just visualize your front ribs connected, but you don't change the shape of your body. It's very much of a breathing action. You start driving your front ribs into the back. This is transversus abdomen control, but you're also allowing your heart not to collapse. That's it. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, you start expanding this area. You're releasing your arms by the side. You start widening this spot. You're using me. You're using me. I'm behind you. You're using me. You're lifting your collarbone, your chest, without protruding your ribs. Good. You are lifting your upper shoulder girdle from this. Yes! Good! I found that. Beautiful. Lift your heart more. Lift your collarbone more. Now start widening your shoulder blades and your collarbone without sinking into the back. Palate has got a string. You're lifting up from that string. Back of the throat has got an expansion. Beautiful. Again, big. In here. And bigger. Lift up. Yes. Good. Now, as they get bigger in here, expand your back muscles more. That's it. Lift your heart. Now, from the back muscle expansion, start elongating your coccyx and your sitting bone and drive from the front lower belly, tiny bit. It's like a string, a mattress strings that from the front of your is Udiana Banda from pubic bone to belly button, it moves inwards like a string that connects into the back of the sacrum. And now you start elongating your tailbone and your coccyx a little bit more. Beautiful, a little bit more. Make it more around the left hand side. Tailbone long. Now lift your arms forwards. Use your body to lift your arms. Get mandigo, chest expanded and uplifted. Lift your arms. Good job. Keep lifting your arms. Those back strips are expanding, but your chest is wide and open. And your collarbone is wide and open. And your arms are supported all across this line. So you're not letting your arms move your body. You're lifting your arms upwards. Good girl. You're lifting your arms as if this whole area, beautiful Tanya. You imagine your body's in between two glass panels. Yes, yes, now I can feel that expansion. Beautiful. Bigger, bigger. Yeah, don't lose that line of space. Now you start resisting me, and the resistance will probably come from your legs, your inner thighs. Now crown, lift it. Lift your crown, lift the palate. Feel as if you're having two strings. Back of your ears, top of the palate, and you're growing taller from your pubic bone. Yes. I know it's easy to go into a... Yeah, brilliant, Talia. That's amazing. Look at that. Keep that waistline lifted. As you're expanding the skin in here, your tailbone will lengthen down a little bit more and your pubic bone will recoil inwards and upwards more. Keep going. Yes, Talia, I feel you. Amazing. Now, Talia, take your arms backwards. Calmly, open, roll, take your shoulder blades backwards. Open, roll, take the other shoulder blades backwards. Now you're growing your head from T6, okay, T7, T8. Yes. And don't worry if you don't want to go anywhere else, okay? Now, Tanya, transition. Your hands are here. Now, as you're keeping your shoulder blades connected, see if you can rotate and turn your palms that way without changing the position of your shoulder blades. Good girl. Now you've got support, but your support is in your breath. So what you're doing, you're using your hands as a feedback for your breath. You're bringing your front ribs into the back body. Yes, and now you start lifting your chest, your sternum and your heart. From the side of your waistline and your ribs, from your pubic bone, 
You're breathing into that area and you're lifting your collarbone, your chest, your shoulder blades are connecting and again, side body and back body are lifting upwards. So you're going in that expansion, your back muscles are engaging and your sitting are engaging, now your legs are getting super strong and if you want to, you start elongating your chest up and you're not taking your body backwards in any position only until you really feel in your chest is going upwards and backwards. And then eventually, that's it, beautiful. Okay, front ribs into the back body as much as possible. Now lengthen your throat and your neck from below the bottom rib cage. Beautiful, and again, back neck, long here. Fantastic, Tanya. Keep the pubic bone uplifted. Create space, create space with your breath. You have a coccyx elongation and your legs here are firing up a lot. Beautiful, fantastic, Tanya. And again, up from your middle spine, you have a big curling motion here. Good girl. And again, front ribs into the back body. Keep that front pubic bone connection. Lovely. That's it. Fantastic. And again, long, long and lifted. Good, long and lifted, keep engaging, keep engaging, amazing my darling, beautiful. And from there bring yourself up more, up more, yeah, up more, up, up, up. Your shoulder blades are lifting your heart, your chest and your clover, good. Now lengthen your back, the back of your neck, good. And again, in breath, strong legs, bring yourself up. Wow, pause there, beautiful Tanya. Take gently, arms by the side. You're having a rolled up mat at the top of your hip bone. Both legs actively engage. Hinge forward. Hinge at your hips. Good. So again, strong back rib cage expansion. Hinge at your hips to take your hands to the floor. Wow. Good girl. Beautiful. Walk your hands forward. Good. And now, without going into an habitual Stretch of the spine, expand your back ribs are beautiful. Look at this back, now it's fantastic as it should have been right from the beginning. Amazing! You're keeping that expansion and you start going like you are, no extra movement, nothing. Just start taking your body weight backwards. Good girl, yes. Feel as if your pelvis and your hip bones are taking you backwards. Fantastic, Tanya. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're going. Palms are pressing gently away from you, femurs are rooting backwards, you sit in or getting a length and you get, don't lose the last part, yes, don't make that brilliant, fantastic. And again, big expansion, big side ribs, I think Tanya, we should film you every time, yeah, no, actually joking, you work working so much more concentrated. <laughs> well done, gorgeous. Now walk your hands gently backwards. And from your pelvis being heavy and your head being heavy like you did before, relax your head and curl to lift. Curl to lift. That's it. That's core action. Curl to lift. Expand and use that thoracic expansion. Yes. Beautiful. Use your breath and expand to curl. Drop your head. She's heavy. Work more this area. Yes. Work more this little spot. Thank you. Work more those little spot. Thank you. Fabulous. 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 And that's it. And bring yourself gently up. Listen to a steady alignment. Don't move anything. Just find your awareness. And lift your heart just a little bit. And bring your palate back and up just a little bit. Wow, gorgeous. Thank you. That was amazing.